as we enter the last days before the presidential election on November 3rd, I invite you, starting tomorrow, October 27th, for the next nine days to a novena, a nine-day prayer practice with specific intention for our country, for this election, and for all that surrounds it. In this season of uncertainty, of worry, of change, we are invited to cast our worries, our hopes, our dreams onto God, trusting in God's great goodness and God's sustaining spirit of mercy and justice, and in hope for a world that is hurting, that a new creation might rise from that midst. I was reminded recently of the writer Marilyn Robinson's words when she talks about a reservoir of goodness beyond and of another kind that we are able to do to each other in the ordinary cause of things. A reservoir of goodness beyond and of another kind that we are able to do each other in the ordinary cause of things. Each of us in our own belovedness, in our own souls, in our own humanity that God made us in. The image of God that we bear contains this reservoir of goodness that we are able to do to each other. And in this season of a world that is particularly hurting, that is particularly anxious and fearful, that seems to be despairing, might we all tap into that reservoir a little deeper, trusting the Spirit of God breathe in and sustaining the life of this world is bringing about a new thing, is renewing and healing and growing and bringing life. This season of prayer, these nine days of prayer that start tomorrow, I invite you to them in this spirit. We'll post prayers every day at 8 a.m on our cathedral social media. Check there and join us starting the 27th through the 4th and pray with us as we seek to tap a little bit into a reservoir of goodness that unites us all. Might the divisions that break us apart be healed. Might that which separates us be united. Might this old, hurting, crumbling, despairing world Know a love and a grace and a hope beyond measure. Let us tap into a reservoir of goodness. Let us do that goodness to each other. And let us join with God's spirit in renewing this face of the earth. In hope, in justice, in peace, and in love.